Hello and welcome to Alphatron uh, UC1 Gen 2 How To Basic Video. So today we're going to be speaking about the new and exciting UC1 Gen 2 a unit from Alphatron. This is a wireless conferencing presentation unit with dual outputs. So the unit itself, as you can see over here, nice, small, compact uh, design. And uh, it comes with a couple of, input, a couple of inputs and outputs. Um, so you've got some USB uh, device inputs on the unit. This you can put in wireless microphones, speaker phones, USB cameras of any type. And then you've got two HDMI outputs, which you have a main and a sub, as you can see on screen. Um, you have an ethernet connection as well. Uh, this allows you to connect up to the corporate network or whatever network you want to uh, in the environment. And that is PoE powered as well. So that means you don't have to use the power supply on the unit. You can actually just use the ethernet cable with PoE and away you go. You don't have to worry about power supply as well. Um, if you do not have a network switch with PoE, no problem. You just plug in the power supply that is included in the package and uh, your network cable is then connected. So that'll be a little bit about the back of the unit. The front of the unit is quite basic, got a couple of buttons on it, standby button, a USB option switching button, um, which is defaulted to the USB-C uh, ingest connection. So this is a USB-C, which will allow you to bring from a laptop that has USB alt mode, uh, the video, to the box as a hardwired connection. Also, any of the USB peripherals that are in the box can be coming and fed through that USB connection back to your to your laptop uh, for a Teams or a Zoom call or whatever it is that you need to use those USBs for. You also have an HDMI input on the front as well. So for the laptops that only have HDMI connection, you can do HDMI and then you can do a USB A to C cable, which will then bring the USB peripherals into your laptop, but then your HDMI uh, hardwired straight into the box as well. So uh, the previous unit that we had um, didn't have those inputs on it. So the new one, we're kind of going towards a hardwired, bring your own device or wireless. So you can choose either which way you want to do it. So then if we look at the box from there, we can see up on screen, um, as we've been showing a main screen, and a secondary screen. So this is quite nice. Uh, we'll show you in the little uh, web inter or in the web interface um, how we can set up those screens to be separate or we can mirror the screens. Um, the nice feature with the box as well is that we have two USB connections, uh, which is USB A connections at the back, which are also, also labeled main and sub. And these follow the HDMI outputs, which is quite great because that means I can then go and use a touch screen and I can use the touch screen on main screen and I can then come over to the secondary touch screen and utilize the secondary touch screen as well, not, not interfering with each other, uh, which is quite a great feature. From there, we can then start the video, uh, we can end the video, uh, we've got some whiteboard and annotation uh, features onto the box as well as we had on the previous generation of the unit. Um, the nice thing is you can always go and check. You can take away the information if you really want the information to be taken away if you feel like it. If you have a person that comes in from outside of your, your environment, um, you can plug in a USB uh, stick into the unit. And if you press that button, so either with the mouse or with the touch screen, um, it will then download the window application uh, onto the USB stick, which allows then the client to plug that in and he can start presenting. <laughs> the other feature that they have, that we have put onto the box uh, is your level one, two, and three and a customizable level. This will show you uh, what has been 
uh, prioritized and what is not being prioritized on the box. And there's quite a few features that you can enable or disable uh, in your in your environment, um, which is quite a nice feature on the on the unit. That is all adjustable inside the web interface, which we will show you uh, in a short bit. <clears throat> if you have a look, uh, the same as our Gen 1. So we have a wireless connection, which is the built-in AP inside the box. And then we have a wired connection, as you can see there. So that's my local network. Um, so that allows us to have a, a guest network as such, and then a, a corporate network, um, if you can if you can name it that way. So that will allow anybody that was outside of the office to come in and then they could then uh, airplay or mirror cast or anything to that effect through the unit up onto the screen um, because they can connect directly to that wireless. The nice thing is quite easy. If you connect to that wireless, you use, you find that wireless name and that's the passcode. We just set it very basic at this point in time. But then also if your staff member comes in, they on their, their, their corporate network that allows them to see the UC1 on their corporate network as well, which is great. Um, we've also got a new interface. As you can see, this will be coming up in an update very soon. Um, a nice new look, upgraded fresh look on the unit. But the nice thing is it also tells you iOS screen mirroring, Android smart view, PC with the mirror cast. That's your wireless the wireless side of the units. Um, that's just presentation, basically, wireless sharing from your devices. If we go down to the bottom, we've got applications for Windows and Mac um, that allow you to bring up the application, install it onto your PC, and then that will take you to the next step, which would allow the wireless um, USB uh, adapter or driver to take your hardwired USB connections and wirelessly bring it to your laptop for your Teams and Zoom call. That's why we say it's a wireless conferencing unit. Um, and then last but not least is our two uh, HDMI and USB-C dongles. Uh, these are video transmitters, basically. So once you plug those in, paired up to the units, uh, you plug that into your PC. You can see the HDMI one here with the USB cable separately. That USB cable is to power up the dongle. Uh, the USB-C is already built into the USB-C connection. This is a USB-C alt mode or DP alt mode, and that's an HDMI signal. And what's nice about this is once you've got it plugged into your PC, you'll just wait for the little red light or the green light, and then you press the button, it'll then produce a video up onto the screen. If you want to use a dongle, and then you want to do a Teams or a Zoom or any kind of video conferencing and you want to bring those peripherals back in, the application will be able to be run on that as well. So you would just open up the application and then all the peripherals will then pull through to your PC. Well, that brings us to the end of the overview of the UC1 Generation 2. We hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe and stay tuned for part two. See you next time. Yeah.